Can't stop, won't stop, get guap. Ten white toes and them toy flip flops. Manicures and pedicures, I'm always tip top. When they say I'm not hot, all these lies need to stop. Cause I'm icy, wifey, haters wanna fight me. Never been the one. What is up, you guys? I am finally back with another video, and I miss you guys so much on YT. Tip if you miss me, like this video. <laughs> if you miss me, like this video. But I just been trying to get my life together. I'm back in school. This is my last semester, as you guys know. So it's just been kind of hectic with working and my internship and getting an assignment. So I have not been able to sit down and film you guys a video. But I miss you guys so, 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 so much. And I'm finally back. So like, what's up? Like, what's good? Like, how y'all? It's fall. I'm excited. That's, you see my sweater? This is my favorite sweater. Y'all gonna see this video, this sweater again in another video. Don't be alarmed. I love this sweater. I got it in all colors. So <clears throat> be ready. Um, What's different about me? Anybody noticing? No, I get my boobies done yet, but y'all notice something different? I don't have no weave. I don't have no bundles. I don't have no wig on. Like, oh my gosh. Like, I like that's different for me, right? Um, this is gonna be a story time. This is gonna be the first tea time with tea. Mm -hmm. Um, about how I transitioned from a relaxer, a perm to 4B, 4C hair texture type. Um, I decided to do this video because I love my hair. I get questions on it all the time. It took me a lot to love my hair. It took me a long time to appreciate the hair I have. So, yeah, let's get right into the story time. Okay, so I'm going to take y'all all the way back to like my freshman year of high school. So, my freshman year of high school, I had a relaxer. I'm not going to say my hair was long and Rapunzel. Like, my hair came to about right here. It was burgundy it was a rinse in my hair and it was fairly healthy it was fine like my ponytail hit the back of my neck when I put it at the top and it was good like I don't know why I decided to do this next part I'm sorry I'm telling you so I decided to go natural and I decided to go natural I always say before the natural movement initially started I don't know it just sparked in my head one day like I don't want perms anymore and I started and I got box braids and I got um different things I was doing twist outs and braid outs and <coughs> excuse me I'm getting over a cold one thing about my hair even with the relaxer it was always extremely thick it was always extremely thick it always had a coarse density to my hair so if I were if I had a perm and it was close to me getting a new one because it had like grown out some I could braid up my hair or twist my hair and let it go and it would be like looking natural is what I thought at the time so I thought that it would look like that when I handled my arm girl so I got box braids one time and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna keep these in for a while. So that way, you know, I don't have to deal with my hair. It'll be transitioning on its own. Everything's gonna be peachy king. Um, and then I got over the braids. I took the braids out one evening and my mom was at home and I had knots. Um, I didn't know when you transitioned or started growing your hair out, you get knots because your hair texture is changing. I got massive knots and what did I do not being educated on my hair type hair in general <coughs> I'm sorry y'all hair in general I just combed I combed I combed I combed and I called my mom screaming crying I'm like mom mom boy I'm oh, boy and she like what are you talking about you boy and I'm like I combed on my hair bro. and she just started yelling like why would you keep combing the rice can't be that bad when she got home, she like it looked like she wanted to cry because I had like about this much of my hair in my hands. And she was like, Tanisha, why would you keep combing? I was like, I don't know. I'm bald. Oh my gosh. All I kept saying was, I'm bald, I'm bald, I'm bald. Well, when I wasn't, I still had hair. It was just not as long as it was or get yeah, nice anymore. It was just messed up. So then I decided, you know, we're going to make it work. I'm going to keep getting, I'm going to keep going natural. I'm going to still not get a perm. I'm going to just make it work. Then I decided to join a cheerleading team and everyone had straight hair or the styling we had to do required me to have straight hair or curls that week. So what did I do? I put a perm back in my hair, a relaxer. I put a perm back in. I was just doing pretty much the perimeter and combing it through and taking it out to make sure it was nice enough to be ready for competition season and stuff like that. And then I was also doing skip tracks because I had lost a lot of length when I combed it out. So I was doing skip tracks and different things for the longest time pretty much all of high school from my sophomore year to senior year it was skip tracks skip tracks skip tracks 
buns, curls, trying to, I had pink hair, blue hair, purple hair. I was doing just different things. I had a bang and then I would, cut, once I got it permed, I would go to the juvie shop, but it was still so short. I would just cut, keep cutting my bangs and I wore my hair in pink curls. I don't know why I thought that was cute y'all, but I was doing that. And then we got to my senior year for prom. I got my first full sewing and I loved it. I was, oh, I ain't never going back. I love weave. I love sewings. I loved it so, so, so much. And then that's what I would do. I would get a sewing. I would take my, I would take my sewing out let my hair breathe a day not go outside because i was embarrassed in my hair and then sew it back up the next day so i was doing that pretty much my senior summer and my whole freshman year of, high, of college and then one day i'm just like why am i still perming my hair to sew it completely up like i had a leave out y'all know what perms i mean y'all know what a sewing is like i had a leave out i would always get a middle part um and i'm like why am i still perming my hair if i'm just sewing it back up so like i stopped I'm like, Ma, I want to like stop perming my hair. And she was like, we're not doing that again. And I'm like, no, I think it'll be fine because there's no point. I'm just going to keep getting sewings, but, you know, we'll keep perming my leave out. So we stopped perming my hair, like, beginning of um, sophomore year. <coughs> and I would just keep sewing it up, take it out, sew it up, take it out, sew it up. I would just perm now my leave out and my edges. Um, so one day or one time like spring semester my mom was like why don't you wear your hair out and I was like do anybody doing that like <laughs> stop playing um, we need to put my weed back in on the ground so she like no like it's really pretty and I'll say this over the course of me uh, going natural or stop perming my hair I always say I went natural by accident so let's that's gonna be the title of this video over the course of me stopping to relax and perm my hair my mom would I would get the knots that I knew I had before but she would do them and she would take her time and do them and they would hurt and they would pull and I'll be like please stop but we got it done and then each time I would get a new sewing I would trim my hair so I was cutting out the perm without initially doing a big chop or even noticing I was going fully natural so She's like, wear your hair out, we'll do a bantu knots and they'll look pretty. And I'm like, girl, I'm not doing that. But I decided to try it. And at that time, my hair was still transitioning. It was very, very thick still, but it was pretty. And I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't know this is on top of my head. Like, hmm, this is actually really nice. And I have a friend and I got her, she was like, you look like Macy Gray. And I'm like, okay, like, I didn't know how to take that. But I liked my hair. It made me a little like, wait, what? Like, this is not, this does not look good. But then again, I'm like, you know what? No, it's fine. Wear your hair. So I went that whole week with being natural or not wearing no weave, and it was hard. Like, I got to school and I was like, what do I do? Like, the first day it was nice because my mom had did it. I just wore it out. That night, I'm like, what am I do? So I called her. And I'm like. <laughs> What do I do with my hair? She's like, what you mean, what you do? So I sent her a picture. She was like, oh my God. So it had gotten really big. It had gotten a little frizzy because I had worn out the whole day. And I was just like, oh. So what to do? It looked terrible. And at that time, it still had a little bit of perm in it. So it was still, it was manageable, but it was still like, dang, girl, you, you match. So I got through that and I'm like, okay. I have hair. I have hair now. I have hair. Like, I was like, I'm not bald headed no more. I got hair. I'm happy, but I'm still about to wear my weave. Okay. So then, you know, I went out for that week. Then I'm like, all right, time for a sewing. At that point, I was still perming my leave out. And then it clicked like the summer after my sophomore year. And I'm just like, girl, why are you still perming your leave out? Like, like stop. Like, you, it, it's only a little bit of hair. It's like this much. Uh, you could stop perming it and just flat iron is going to fine. So I stopped perming my leave out. Um, but I was still flat ironing, flat ironing, flat ironing. Till this day, as y'all see in this puff, all in here is still very damaged. Um, I'm working on it. That's why I switched to wigs. It's just gonna take a while for it to get right because I was straightening it for permanent for so long, putting heat on it for so long because I wanted my weave to match my lead out. Like, duh, like that's the objective goal of a sewing. Um, so yeah, and then. As time went on, I remember one time she was doing my hair. My hair takes a long time to do. It takes at least a whole day for a wash day. If you're natural, you already know what I'm talking about. I'm like, I'm playing with a piece in the back. And I'm like, I think I got curls. <laughs> so my mother was like, girl, it's nappy. Ain't no curls. I'm like, I don't know. So I had bought this 
coily stuff from Miss Jessie's and it was only a pack and I tried it on the piece and my hair curls and I'm like, oh snap, I got curls. Um, but my mom was like, girl, if you don't blow dry that stuff and twist it up and, <clears throat> and you know, do what you have to do. So I would do that for a long time. I would take breaks in between my sewing ones and wear my hair for a week and I'll put it in a bun or I'll put it to the back or I'll twist it up and do a twist out. Um, it wasn't until actually this summer, maybe last month, that I actually put I put my hair back in the bun. I usually do I do a sock bun just with my hair, no sock. And I'm like, hmm, why? Do I, have, I wonder what happens if I wet my hair. Now, when I was washing my hair, I could see the curls. I have curls. They're pretty. I would brush them, but they're not wash and go ready. The top is still very damaged, so I would just be like, you know, blow dry it. And I could, I'm natural, y'all, but I have to blow dry my hair. I'm sorry if it ain't politically correct, but I, I. I um I have to do that so <clears throat> I'm like what would happen if I just put my hair back and I wet the ponytail so I wet it I'm like uh oh this wasn't a good idea but as I keep wetting it down <clears throat> it started to curl up and I'm like yay I would I took the Jane Carter curly cocktail that I used in my maintenance hair video for my curly wig and I put it in the back and I'm like oh, I have curls I got curls I got curls he's like yeah like finally I never thought that would happen like when I went natural I knew I had thick hair I feel I had nappy hair which everyone thinks but everyone does have a curl type i thought i had 4c hair for the longest like i have the nappiest hair while it's 4c that's actually incorrect i actually have a 4b mixture 4c it is coily my hair is very coily i don't know if y'all can see my little bun but y'all and y'all see the damage like you can see the damage right in here but this is what my hair curls are like they're very tight so i was like oh my gosh like i have curly hair so i decided I decided a while ago that I wanted to stop wearing sew-ins and switch over to wigs because I wanted my leave-out to get right. Now, all in here, as you can see, it's wavy because it's coming in pretty nice. I trim it every... I'll trim my leave-out now, I want to say no exaggeration, every two weeks. And you be like, girl, what you trimming your hair that much for? Because I'm trying to get the damage out. There's no way to really convert hair because for it to grow. I've, I've realized that. So now I just pretty much trim it every two weeks. And it's very short. It's very short up there. She's a short girl. Okay, she's she's not even a bay. She's just short. But I still wear I wear wigs now. So I just braid it down. I put castor oil in my hair. Baby, don't be bald. If y'all don't know what that product is, I'm going to link it down below. I put that in my hair pretty much every night when I wear a wig. And yeah, like that's how I transitioned from relaxed to 4B, 4C hair by accident. Okay, by accident. Never thought I would be here. Never thought I would have curls. Never thought I would have kinkles or coils or anything like that. I just thought that my hair was just nappy and uncanable and I didn't know what products to use. I didn't know much about doing my hair and neither did my mom. I got a perm when I was 10 years old um, just because it was easier on her when she got sick. So yeah now i'm loving my hair and i say it took me a long time to love my hair because it did and i think that's a lot we see that a lot in the black community little girls don't love their hair they're like oh my hair's straight i want this i want that and i all i've also noticed now that in the black community we correlate straight hair with success and so oh she's graduating let's straighten her hair oh she's go moving up ceremony let's straighten her hair. oh what's her birthday straighten her hair and that's i think is a huge problem I think that's a huge problem because we don't teach girls to love their hair we teach them you know it's gonna be pretty if you straighten it. it's gonna be pretty if you do this and it's uh, <clears throat> it's hard when you see a lot of different people wearing straight hair and different things I think the natural movement has come a long way and I'm happy to be a part of it I am not like I said I still blow dry my hair when I wash it y'all I didn't yeah this was blow dry because I did wear it out for a couple days it would twist out but it, I blow dry I can't wash and go it's not there yet so I blow dry okay but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want some more Tea Times with Tea, aka Story Times, then please comment in below what y'all want to hear Story Time on. I got some juicy ones for y'all, but I ain't gonna give them to y'all until y'all ready. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for being part of the Glam Fam. We finally hit 100, y'all. We at 103. I'm so thankful for y'all. Y'all go hard for me, and I'm gonna make sure I put up some videos and go for hard for y'all. But I love you guys. I will see you on my next one. Bye, guys. Mwah.
Groove music. Groove music. Groove music. 